And just earlier today, we also caught up with Vernon Downs owner Jeff Gurrell amid the last minute effort to make Woodstock a reality. I've been trying for about seven years to try to see if I could get some of the concert promoters to to do a festival at Vernon Downs. Vernon Downs owner Jeff Gorell believes the concert event could energize the local economy. The town is suffering. Based on the time left, Gorell predicts promoters will not reach the 65,000 estimated maximum attendees. We're not getting 65,000 people. I think it's more likely we'd get 35,000 people. On another hand, Woodstock's open house announcement said Gorell was making a donation to nonprofit organizations near Tioga Downs, which he also owns. I said, I'm giving away $500,000 Friday at the Tioga Downs to local nonprofits. And I said, if we can get, uh, you know, concerts at Vernon Downs, I'd be willing to give uh, 500000 to local nonprofits here. Here's Gorell's response when we asked about Woodstock's pitch to the community about the chance local hires could be made. You know, I would expect that all of the local high school and college kids would, would be able to find a week's work. Tuesday at 7 p.m., the Town of Vernon Planning Board will take up Woodstock 50's appeal of the Town Code's Department's first denial of permit applications. Town Attorney Vincent Rossi says if the Planning Board sides with codes, Woodstock could take the matter to court. I'm not the promoter, but I don't think there's enough time to go to court. Not much I can do. I'm not going to spend my money on legal fees trying to get a judge to overturn that decision. In Vernon, Ben Dennis, Eyewitness News.